today's the day. I can't do that job. You did it! I have no idea what to expect out here. school kids oh my gosh look at this I have to show you sneak peek we're prepping for this Halloween party it's gonna be the biggest best one yet but it is a random weekday and my elementary school kids don't have school today and considering every single day for the rest of the year is booked for us we are taking advantage of this weekday and doing something fun let's see if you could take a wild guess on where we might be going today based off of Addie's outfit Whoa! <laughs> She's got the velvet orange bell bottoms, the orange streaks in the hair, the orange lipstick. That was her idea. Where are my sunglasses? I will pass away if I don't find them though because we are gonna go be in the hot sun for the next several hours. One bummer part about today though is that all the kids don't have school except one. Lilia is at a different school. She's in eighth grade and so she still had school today so we've pretty much just been prepping for our afternoon. Today I actually started setting up for the Halloween party coming up. I started a pack for our Oogie Boogie trip next week, which is like the Disneyland Halloween party. I'm so excited about that. But Lilia gets out of school in just a few minutes. So we're loading up the whole bus full of everyone in black and orange to, have you seen my sunglasses? They were right here. Lilia actually doesn't even know yet that we're doing this. We're kind of doing it on a whim. I pretty much, like I said earlier, like we are completely booked the, the rest of this year. Like it's actually insane how much we have to do for the rest of the year. To the point where I was like, I don't know if we're gonna make it to a pumpkin patch this year. And you guys know how devastating of a thought that is for me. Being that Halloween is my favorite holiday, but we are just, man, this new house has got us so busy. So I was like, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it happen. Then, bada bing, bada boom, day off of school. And it happens to be a Thursday, which the girls don't have dance on Thursday. So I'm like, this is so perfect. We're getting everyone ready and we're going to the same pumpkin patch that I've taken my kids to for, gosh, I don't know, 12 years maybe? Which is the cop that was investigating the whole thing. Yeah. And then the last one is murder movies are so much right. better than the We've like, retrieved content. the girl. She's talking about a scary movie that she watched. She likes scary movies. I don't like scary movies. Addie, do you like scary movies? <laughs> I don't know if she's over here listening to me. I know, she's over here like, um, I don't know about that. Anyway, we've got a car full. This pumpkin patch is about an hour away, but it's so worth it. We've gone here. How long have we been going to this pumpkin Whoa, patch? It's called Del Lilia so. was a baby. Like your local. Yeah, since was, Lilia was literally was one, probably. So 2011. Oh my gosh, so 12 years we've been going here. And we, I think the only, we, the only time we missed was like COVID years. I'm so excited. And they've added so much more. Maybe I'll actually somewhat enjoy the haunted house this year. I know. Like last year, we were there. Yeah. And like I liked it. It just wasn't like the best. Like it could have been scarier guys. I was like saying stuff like oh so scary. So scary. <laughs> Addie you gonna go in the haunted house? <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna go up to them and say so? <laughs> Staying out till it's early in the morning. Been around with my sisters. Gotta move to the beat beat beat. Gotta move to the beat beat beat. Reason number 498 why today is a good day to go to the pumpkin patch. It's empty. We're in the main park, it's not empty. It's still really full, but this place normally is like Disneyland. It is so full and we're in the main parking lot right now. Like I don't think that's ever happened. Weekdays for the win and it's cheaper. See if you can do it. pumpkin patch. We did just look at the pumpkins, but that's pretty much all we do here, ironically. We don't actually ever leave with pumpkins <laughs> from here. We come here for all the fun stuff, so. If you want your face turned off, be sure to go check out Cameron and Rory over there at the Kirk your booth, and uh, they'll hook you guys up. Wanna be hooked up? And uh, put your Who's name in there, and get your, uh, <laughs> get your... <laughs> it's so empty here, which is great, so great, uh, but... Us, can you talk about <laughs> We have so many memories on this train ride. I do not come here for human interaction. <laughs> What did you come here for? I came here for the haunted house. That's it. You for real? Did it die? Where did it go? It's like 
I can feel it right here. She just got stung by a bee standing in line. Where? Let me see. He's just standing here mining his own bees wax. <laughs> Get it? And he got stung. Oh no. Huh? Are you okay? I think I'm having a little reaction. No way. Stop, stop it! Stop it! Are you okay though, for real? It's a party, it's a trick, it's a fire Keep it up, never quit, quit, quit Let it out, take a zip, zip, zip You're pulling me from a higher elevation Gravity in the making Wanna move to your beat, beat, beat Who wants to get a haunted house? Whoa, well, how do you do? Oh my god, Lilia, yeah. shocker, shocker My boys have been waiting for this moment Who wants to do the haunted house? <laughs> Alright, they've been waiting for this moment to begin officially 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 like absolutely officially like it is absolutely happening today We've got all this equipment out here the guys are on their way and this you guys this is a little bit bittersweet but there's been a lot of moving parts in all of the projects that are about to start on our house I just cannot believe that we've been here since April and it is October and we're just now getting around to officially starting to get some work done on this place but again I have definitely learned the hard way that doing things the right way takes time and that's the only reasoning behind this is that we have had to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait for the county and the state and the city and whoever the f to give us the okay to start all of this stuff and it's a go. It's a go, it's a go. So here's the game plan over the next few weeks. Today, we're breaking ground with our soccer field. If you missed that video, um, a few videos back, I talked about how we actually bought some used, actually, did I even talk about this? I don't even know, I think I did. One of the many things that we're doing to this house is we're putting in a soccer field. I know I've talked a lot about our addition that we're gonna be doing, kind of keep switching gears back and forth between the two, and that's because the two projects are both gonna be happening just about the same time. But since winter is near and we're gonna be potentially battling weather, rain, whatever it is, we gotta get this soccer field in stat. So a while back, we got a killer deal on some used 
this turf from a local college around here. Anyone that knows anything about artificial turf, this stuff is not cheap. It's not cheap to install, it's not cheap to buy, and while we don't wanna cut any corners, specifically on installation, we do wanna try to find a good deal, so that's what we did. Here you will see 33 rolls, I think it's 33 rolls, of artificial turf that we're gonna be installing into our soccer field. Up behind us, you can see we've got our contractors on the way, we've got equipment ready to go, and step one of this project is gonna be demo. So you'll see right here, based off of the positioning of where we want the soccer field, we do have to take down our current chicken coop, which we have never used. In fact, you can see um, just kind of the state of it as it stands. That being said though, I do want chickens. I do want chickens. Believe it or not, it just makes sense, especially with how many mouths we have to feed around here. I am really looking forward to getting chickens, but they're kind of lower on our priority list, and the positioning of this chicken coop is, it's kind of just like in the middle of everything. So we're gonna be giving our chickens a brand new place to live, but it's not gonna be right here. We are preserving this little coopy thing. This is honestly not in great condition, so we're getting rid of this. We're gonna keep this. We're gonna move it probably likely to somewhere over here because this is where the field is gonna be going. So obviously in order for the field to go there, we have to take this down. We have to completely level out this land. We've gotta slope it. There's so many steps that I didn't even think about. I just, I, I like, okay, we bought the house, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. What are we gonna do? Let's put in a soccer field. Told my boys we're gonna put in a soccer field. So excited about the soccer field. Learning about how to put a soccer field in. Holy moly, you guys, there's a lot to it. You have to take the turf, flip the turf, use the turf, you have to get rocks. You have to dig you have to like I, there's just so much to it I will admit I did not know what I was getting myself into but it's been a long time coming and today's the day This project should take no more than two weeks So it should be a pretty quick project the second this is done. We're starting on this bad boy Well that we're gonna move this also like I said, there's a lot of moving parts We're moving this shed to over here We're gonna have it be like a watch area for the field which is gonna be here This is gonna be a three-bedroom two-bath house there's gonna be so much changing over the next six months. So this whole everything, everything should be said and done in like, I don't know, I'm gonna say like maybe six months as far as that goes. It should be half that, hopefully, but you just never know what you're gonna run into. So the state of our home is going to change so much over the next half a year. Well, really like year, because we haven't even started on the inside yet. That's a whole nother thing, but today's the day, I'm so excited. So say hello and say goodbye to this old chicken coop because she's gonna get a facelift, but over there. My boys are getting a soccer field. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited excited for them. They're so excited and it's just so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, I love this house and our land, not just the house. such a busy day today. I'm trying to plan for our trip. We leave in just a couple days and I haven't even made it back out to see what they did on the field today. I like saw them doing stuff out here, but I'm sad because it's dark now. But Chris has got his handy dandy flashlight and we're gonna go check this out and see. Oh, is it strong, the flashlight? Like are we gonna be able to actually see? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'll show you. Let me see. Oh, I see equipment. I have no idea what to expect out here. Oh, a cooler. Okay. Oh, the fencing is down. Oh, the fencing is down. What else did they do? Oh, they had to move all that turf, huh? Because yeah. they're gonna do it right there behind. <gasps> Ow, I stepped in something. What's this? This is where they're gonna be pulling the dirt from. So they're gonna flatten it out, they're gonna level it. All the extra dirt that they're scraping off. He said he's bringing really big equipment tomorrow. That's not the big stuff that we have? Nope. I don't understand it, but they know what they're doing. They have like stakes out here showing like where it's gonna go. It's a lot, it's a lot, but looking good. Day one is complete. And this is why we need a soccer field, guys. Look at all the soccer balls out here, just the dirt. <laughs> They're so excited, there's more. Oh my gosh, so many. Right now, the net is just over here on the grass. On another note, I'm starting my packing game in here because we leave in a couple days. I have an entire bin of just Disney stuff that I keep. That way, when it's time, I can find it. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, that's cool. See, I forget about the stuff that I have sometimes, but I keep it all together that way when it's time to pack. <gasps> Cute. This is happening. Here is to hoping and praying that I can actually get packing done before the midnight before we leave. So, we'll see. Wish me luck. <laughs> 